Hi everyone, welcome to The Shack. Just a quick video. I read online today that the BBC transmitter at Droitwich um, is down today with a fault or maintenance or something. This is the transmitter um, uh, that, that they use for BBC Radio 4 on long wave, 198 kilohertz. Now normally here in Oxfordshire, a few miles down the motorway, um, the, the Radio 4 signal on long wave is huge, you know, S9 plus 20 dB, I can't remember, but it's massive. Today, there is a signal, um, it's about S6. Um, and those of you that are familiar with SDR, listening on long wave, will know that what you're looking at right now is, uh, it, it, well, it doesn't compare to what you'd normally expect. And what's also interesting is that I'm on upper sideband right now and there is some audio, um, I'll let you listen. Pretty poor, but there is some modulation. Go to LSB and I can't hear anything. And what's interesting is when you actually look at the uh, waterfall, there's sort of signs of modulation on the, on the upper sideband and very little or nothing on, on lower sideband. Now that I don't, that, that I don't understand. Um, basically we are listening to the Radio 4 long wave signal from the, either the Berghead or Wester Glen transmitters up in Scotland. Um, obviously they're much further away. They also transmit with about 10 times less TX power. So Droitwich I think is 500, 500 um, uh, kilowatts and the two Scottish transmitters are 50. So they're 10, 10 times less power. Um, and much further away. Uh, now, if you double your, S, your your transmit power, it's only half an S point, but uh, this signal is, as expected, smaller, but um, it's actually very weak. Uh, and I don't explain this kind of asymmetry in terms of the sideband modulation. So what I thought I would do was to check it out on a couple of other rigs. So this is the ICOM sorry, uh, ICOM ICR 75, um, same antenna. So this is my Wellbrook loop. Um, and other, yeah, it's, well, it's my, it's my Wellbrook loop. Um, I'm feeding the same loop through my Benito antenna jet RF splitter into this rig and into the ELAD. Um, so let's, and we're on upper sideband again. So let's have a listen. So about the same as the ELAD, there is audio, it's not usable at all. Um, if I go back, if I go to lower sideband. I don't know whether you can hear that, but there is actually now some modulation. I'm picking up some modulation on lower sideband. Um, nowhere near as as, uh, 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 as much as on upper, um, but it does mean that for whatever reason, the, one of these stations, either Berghead or Wester Glen, aren't transmitting on long wave in, uh, on, <laughs> on upper sideband only. Um, so that was interesting, but then I thought, I'm just going to check the signal again with my NFED wire that I use for amateur radio. Now, uh, the the bare match on this wire uh, lies somewhere between top band and 80 meters. Um, and I'm, I'm not actually matching it um, because I don't have a matching unit that will go with well, it will effectively go down to 198 kilohertz. Um, I've not shown you this before, I don't think, but basically it's a house CTU nine, 500, 500 kilohertz to 30 megs passive matching unit i'm using it on bypass because obviously it's not useful at this lower frequency um so this is the same signal but with my uh, non-resonant at this frequency end fed wire the wind between hurricanes mr greenaway was filming the climax of the picture on the so there you go completely the different Today we are doing a sequence which is quite close to the end of the film where all the about S7 but lots of modulation so let's just 
check it's not one sideband only, so... So this is lower sideband. So just confirms we have lower sideband and let's go to upper sideband. So that's upper sideband. No problem at all. So then I started thinking, well, is there something wrong with my Welbrook loop? So just to demonstrate that there isn't, um, let's go back to it. Let's go two, three, four. No problem at all with it. So there you go. So I can't remember the last time I observed no signal from Droit, which I probably have in the past, and that's, that transmitter does go down from time to time. Um, but interesting to uh, to be able to actually hear either Berghead or West uh, or Wester Glen. I don't know which it is, um, uh, but uh, obviously would normally never hear either of those uh, transmitter sites. So it's one or the other. Maybe someone watching this video um, will know. Um, but what's also interesting is that for some reason on my Welbrook loop, um, I'm getting sort of asymmetric. Uh, modulation. I'm getting far more modulation on the upper side than the lower side, but there may be a technical reason for that that I'm not aware of. So, um, which which made me think at first. Well, you know, there's there's almost nothing. There's almost no modulation on lower side band. It's it's all upper side band. But then that was on the Welbrook loop on the wire. Um, there's uh, the modulation. The audio on both side bands is um, perfectly perfectly clear. And obviously on AM it sounds fine. So. Uh, that was an interesting experiment that came about simply because um, I read earlier today that um, Radio 4 was down, uh, or the Droitwich transmitter for Radio 4 was down on Longwave. So uh, there you go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, uh, or at least interesting. Um, thanks for watching and 73.